Psalms 109, 1 through question mark, the TI program in a nutshell, followed by a curse. ESV, mini sermon time, y'all. To the choir master, a psalm of David. David was targeted. Be not silent, O God of my praise, for the wicked and deceitful mouths are opened against me, speaking against me with lying tongues. We know that they recruit other people telling untruths against us to help get other people to target us. They encircle me with words of hate and attack me without cause. They do that with us. They did that to David. In return for my love, they accuse me, but I give myself to prayer. We tried loving them in our own strength. It didn't work. We need to seek God in prayer. The Most High God, Cornelius' prayers and his alms, he gave generously in tithes and offerings to the poor. They reached the heavenly throne of God as a sweet, sweet, sweet smelling aroma of, a, of an offering, a sacrifice pleasing to God. That led to Cornelius' salvation. And he was a Gentile. And Peter was the one who was led to lead him to salvation. And, and Peter's call was really to the Jews primarily. But I give myself to prayer. So they reward me evil for good and hatred for my love. So we tried loving them. It didn't work. If you get to know God, God will begin to love them through you. And that's different than trying to just be nice to them in your own strength. Because they're, they'll, they, they will not respect that at all. They will not. But when the Holy Spirit, after I done went crazy, I done terrorized some of these targets, some of these agents. Okay, I was like targeting some of them. Some of them moved out of here. They tried to evict me because I terrorized some of them and they moved out. They was like, I, I'm not living with that dude. Mm -mm, oh, hell to the nah. Now things have changed and the Holy Spirit is within me. And when I'm when I'm forced to interact with them, the Holy Spirit loves them through me. And that love they don't reject. That love has effect on them because it is the love of God. It's not me. It's not me. Here's the curse. You can pray for vengeance against your enemies. I don't know how far I'm going to get. Appoint a wicked man against him. Let an accuser stand at his right hand. This is for all of those who are targeting us. When he is tried, let him come forth guilty. Let his praise, prayer be counted as sin. When these targeters are judged, when these agents are judged, they're going to cry out to God, but God's going to be like, no, you're getting what you deserve. God's not going to listen to their prayer. May his days be few. May another take his office. Now, this is also the prophecy uh, of Jesus coming. Wait, let me see. Well, I'm not sure. May his children be fatherless and his wife a widow. May his children wander about and beg, seeking, seeking food far from the ruins they inhabit. May their, their, the creditor seize all that he has. May strangers plunder the fruits of his toil. I'm out of time, but I pray God's vengeance on them every day. I pray that God will target them every day in every way, the same way they target me. And God does. I've seen it over and over again, though he has not ended the program using it for my blessing. My responsibility, though, is to love them, and I do that through the power of the Holy Spirit of God. Like, subscribe, share, comment.